in this video, I'm going to show you how you turn your regular ordinary videos into a cinematic masterpiece all using the CapCut. So CapCut is a free video editor for desktop or mobile. I downloaded it for my PC. I have been using it for two weeks now and it feels like very smooth and easy for creators who are looking for something that doesn't have such a steep learning curves like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve but the results looks really amazing. So let me show you how I created that cinematic sequence. So here we are right inside of CapCut. As you can see, the interface is really clean and minimalistic. Everything is categorized very properly. So the best thing I like about CapCut, they have uh, some pre-made things that actually save a ton of time. As you can see, we have audio, text, stickers, effects, transitions, filters, and adjustment layers. And these things are really time saver, right? So let me show you how I created that sequence. So firstly, we need to merge all of our clips. So here I have some clips that I downloaded from Pixels. As you know, the Pixels is a free website where we can download our royalty free videos. You can also get that link in the description below. So I can just merge all of these clips one by one. There we go. I just drop all of my video clips that I want to use to make a cinematic sequence, right? The next step we are going to do is to add a background music. So I just drag all of my video clips to the second video track. And now let's add a background music. I use a background music which is inside of CapCut. If you go this audio option, we have many couple of music options right here that you can use in your sequence. And also we have a sound effect that we are going to use in that sequence as well. So here I have a audio background that I want to use for this sequence so just drag it a little bit to make it arrangement like so the next thing I personally like about CapCut is AI Auto Beats. When you select your audio track, here we got an option of AI Auto Beat, which is super useful. We can also make a cut over our audio clips, but it will take some more time. So you just need to go to AI and here you can select a beat. So I personally go with a beat one, which I personally prefer. This is actually time saver because if you go manually, you need to find out beat where you want to switch your video clips but if you go with the AI tool you can save your ton of time so here as you can see we got uh, some yellow dots over here which is actually our beats so now we can manage our video clip according to our beats it will save our ton of time and we can manage it accordingly Yeah, there we go. We just set all of our video clips according to our audio beats. Here is the second audio track that I put over here is the ambient sound that I want to use in my cinematic sequence. So now we need to decrease the volume. So we just select our audio track, go to basic and here we have a volume tab. So we can decrease it a little bit to 15 like so, which is looks really perfect. And also you can see this little circular option right here so which you can actually drag to make it fade in and fade out here you can see here is the fade in so you can move it a little bit to make it more perfect and or you can just simply go to basic and add a fade out value accordingly right so now let's add more sound effects to make it more cinematic so firstly we have a jungle ambient sound that we need to use so here I have a jungle ambient sound so I just add it put over here and just match it with our beat that we are created using AI. So just need to match out with our clip. And now let's add uh, some kind of fade in and some fade out to make it looks really clean. So yeah, I added all the sound effects that I want to use according to my video clip. 
All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to color grade our footage. And you know the best thing about CapCut, we have some pre-built filters over here that we can use in our footage. Here we have a couple of filters that we can use in our footage to make it more amazing. So I'm just going with a Ginger Bread. Let's make it bigger to my footage so it can cover all the footage. And here is the after applying the layers. You can see the before and after. It give a perfect tune perfect uh, colors to my footage you can also control the filter citrine i just go with a uh, 50 percent which is actually perfect for me i think so here's the before here is the after you can see it looks really clean right and if you don't want to use these filters you have your own layers that you want to apply in a cap cut you can also do that for that simply go to adjustment here go to the layers and here you can import your own dot cube file or 3dl file that you are created in premiere pro or davinci resolve it doesn't matter you can import over here and use it in your footage right and more than that you can also color grade your individual footage for that simply select your footage go to adjustment and here we have some color grading option which is really useful here we have a adjustment that you can actually do like we can change the temperature hue saturations brightness so you you can actually customize it accordingly that you actually need here you can see we also have hsl which is actually super useful and also we have our curves over here so you can play with it that's perfect so i'm just apply apply to all so now it will apply to my all footages as you can see and lastly we need to add black bars to make our sequence more cinematic for that simply you need to select your footage go to mask and here select a film strip and here you can need to manage it so i just go with a random value like 600 which is looks really perfect you can increase or decrease the length if you really want to do So yeah, that's how you can create a cinematic sequence in CapCut, which is a completely free software for desktop or mobile. So I will definitely recommend you guys go ahead and check it out. Link in the description below. So yeah, that's a quick CapCut tutorial. I personally like it for people who don't want to spend hours to learn a complicated editing. CapCut seemed like a very good option for them. I hope you like it. I hope it helps. And if you have any question, just don't Drop them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.